we're recording. Girl, please stop doing this to me. Oh no, we're zooming in. Oh God, oh God. And Hello, Poppy. Hello friends and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am here because we have our very first civil regime unboxing slash try on haul. For those who do not know, civil regime is Dark Sport's sister company. If you didn't know, yes, Dark Sport does have a sister company and that is Civil Regime, who I am so blessed and so lucky to be sponsored by. Literally one of my dream sponsorships. I freaking love Civil. I'm literally wearing Civil right now. One of their collabs with the Powerpuff Girls. So girl, let me just put you guys on. Let me put you guys on. If you don't know them already, sis, cause oversized tees, streetwear, girl. Str I feel like this is streetwear meets activewear but they also have like streetwear, regular clothes, fashion. And that's what I love about Civil. You can wear their clothes in and out of the gym. So, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? I just wanna go ahead and start off by saying that I am wearing a size large in every single one of the tees. The tees do already fit naturally oversized. They are an oversized fit, but just for an extra oversized fit, I sized up to a large. That's just what I find fits me comfortably. The extra large does fit the style that I like, but sometimes it can be a little too much and I feel like I'm swimming in it. But for me, where the sleeve just barely passes the elbow, chef's kiss, perfect for me. And that's another thing that I love about Civil's tees. You see, it's a relaxed fit. The sleeves aren't sticking up. I feel like I'm a low key connoisseur in oversized tees because that's just how I naturally dress on the regular. I love my oversized tees. I don't like when the sleeves puff out, stick out, give you that stiff look. That is something that I like about Civil's tees. They're very relaxed. They're extremely high quality. If you have tried Dark Sport before, their blanks are very similar to the blanks of a Dark Sport, or excuse me, Civil Regime. So you're, we're expecting the same quality here from Dark Sport. If you've tried Dark Sport, then you know. This is gonna be for their launch that is happening on the 24th, I believe, at 6 p.m. PST, 9 p.m. EST. And of course, you can use code what? Code TIFF to save 10% off your order. Just a heads up, you guys. Civil's stuff does tend to sell out very fast. I'm talking very fast. I'm talking within the first five minutes fast. So if you see anything that you like, please make sure that you mark your calendars, have your timer set, try to be on the website at least five minutes before launch and refresh the page right as launch hits. These go quick, girl. These go quick. And this is a restock of their Assemble collection, which is their Marvel collab. So you already know these are gonna go Speedy Gonzalez quick. You know what I mean? <laughs> They're here killing it with the fucking collabs. I love Civil so much. I cannot say it enough. I cannot say it enough. I'm also gonna be showing you guys some of their um, activewear pieces. Like I have a pair of leggings, um, two sports bras I don't wanna show you, and my favorite shorts, which I'm wearing right now. Wearing a medium in all of those pieces, which is true to size for me. Anyways, I feel like that's everything that I needed to say. Let's go ahead and get on with the unboxing. Look at this beautiful box. I'm not gonna lie. I've already peeked in this box. I'm not gonna fool you. I'm not gonna fool you. We have... <sighs> These pieces just smell so freaking good. Like heaven. <laughs> I feel like there is something for everyone in this drop, so get ready. Get motherfucking ready. And another thing that I love about Civil Regime is that they're very unisex. Women, men, they, them, whoever it is, you can wear it, sis. You can wear it. This is for you. So, first tee that we have up is the Spider Man tee. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. Still has the tags on it. Haven't even washed her yet. I do feel like you need to wash them first. Obviously, I feel like that's a given to get that more relaxed fit because they, you know, it's brand new, sis. It's straight out the frack factory. It's gonna be a little stiff. You feel me? But here's the Spider Man shirt. We're just gonna do a quick little overhaul. We'll get onto the try on haul and then you can see everything in its glory. Next up, we have the Black Panther tee. Here she is right here. Just a quick little one, two. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Honestly, the reason I haven't done a civil try on haul for you guys yet is because I've mentioned this in a previous try on haul. I haven't had enough pieces to actually do a full YouTube video on. And now that I have multiple shirts, I feel like I can actually give a full try on haul for you guys where it's not like, here's three pieces. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? If you want more of the civil content, head over to my Instagram. I'm gonna keep plugging it because that's my main social media that I use. I usually do the shorter try on hauls on my stories. So 
if you're interested, I suggest you head over there. That's where you consistently see the mini civil try on hauls. Anyways, I digress. Here we go. I've had two cups of coffee, so my brain is like this right now. And I'm like trying to think about what I'm trying to say. And it's, it's just not coming to me, girl. It's not coming to me. And we got the dead one. You guys, this is probably my second favorite shirt out of the entire launch. I will show you the first. We're saving her for last. But here is the Deadpool one. <sighs> Honestly, fire look at the details. Like the distress details. I know some people don't like that, but girl, I love it. I love it. And then one of my other faves, Wolverine. <sighs> look at this girl. The color on this, it's like, it's not black. I feel like the others were more on the black side. This is more like that acid wash, kind of acid gray, if you will. Stunning. And it's, oh, <clears throat> chef's kiss. I saved my favorite for last. And I did put her back in this bag. I have been consistently wearing her, but I wanted to, you know, give you guys the unboxing feel for this one. Is the Storm Tea. This one sold out so fast. I think in the first three minutes. So I would suggest if you like this tea, girl, you better run. You better run, run, run. And then I just want to show you guys some of the sports bras that I have. Well, I'm wearing one. Here's one right here. This is what she looks like. She has civil regime in the front, the rose on fire in the back, the matching leggings here. I will do a full try on haul for you guys in a second. And then I'm wearing, I believe these are on stock on the website. At least the brown set is. If the black isn't, I'm so sorry. I apologize, but I just want to show you guys the shorts. Here are the shorts. Girl, you see what I'm saying? These are my favorite shorts that they ever have. I just love the skull with the wings. I just love the dark, more streetwear vibe, you know, mixed active wear. And she does have a scrunch in the back and she is in fact squat proof. Again, wearing a size medium. And this is the sports bra, same exact fit as the brown one. She's just in black and it has the um, little skull, matching skull with the wings here. And this is what the back looks like. Same style, just a little bit different um, graphics on it. Let's go ahead and get on with the tea try on haul. All right, first tea we're gonna start off with. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. We're gonna go with Mr. Deadpool here. Here we have the Deadpool tea. Let me not tuck it in yet. This is what it looks like, honestly, love this graphic. I just love their designs. Their design slay, we have the Marvel logo right here on the side, the Civil Regime right here on the other side, and then here is the back. As you can see, love all the details. And with this tee, it's a little bit different because it has the distressing here on the sides and on the collar. I'm pretty sure on the bottom as well, on the hem here as you can see so if you like that distressed look you're gonna like this deadpool tee and it's also that off like between black and gray what i like about i'm really picky on the collars i like my collars to be up high but not to the point where it's so close to my neck that it's choking me and i feel like with civil they do that perfectly it's just a comfortable fit all around like you have that clean collar it's not scraggly this has been washed i have wore this deadpool one already just a heads up um it doesn't wrinkle out it's nice and straight clean you don't have that bacon neck look and still the, sh the um, sleeves fall at a nice relaxed look. Just an overall 10 out of 10 pump cover. You feel me? Heat. Imagine this with some cargos too. Girl, come on now. This is usually how I style my oversized tees. I know some girlies like to tuck it into their sports bra, but for me personally, I like to take the hem here, slide tuck here, other side, slide and tuck just so that it gives you more shape and you got that V, it's covering the coochie low key and you can still show the glutes off for leg day. All right, here we have the Wolverine tee and I will say, I do notice a slight difference in the tee. I feel like the Deadpool one fits a little bit on the thicker side and this is even more on the lat. Like I know this one looks relaxed, but I can't, I cannot explain it. This one just feels more relaxed. Look at this. Love the graphic. I will say that for every single tee. Same exact details pretty much with the, so I'm sorry, I automatically took it. Civil right here on the right side. Got the Marvel right here on the left. And then pretty much 
the same detailing on the back, just with the blue. Again, I'm wearing a size large in these tees, babe. Let me try to get a thumbnail pic real quick. <laughs> I'm like, bro, well, I'm trying to be in frame, but it's like awkward. Bro, I'm like, maybe I should kneel down. Hit him with one of these, or one of these. My necklaces are getting all tangled from this try on. Next up we have Black Panther. And I'm thinking I might do a little DIY at the end of this video. I've never done it to one of the civil shirts and I haven't done it in a really long time. But I'm thinking maybe we could, I don't know if I can though. The graphic goes up pretty high. Oh, I don't know if I can. I was thinking about cutting the neck and doing like an off the shoulder moment. You know what I mean? I feel like that would low key be cute, but the graphic might be too high and I don't want to cut it, you know? <laughs> Anyways, here is the Black Panther one. Fucking gorgeous. Same detail, Marvel. Civil right here. The logo in the back. This is where the T hits me. I wanna say, so here are my shorts. I would say a little above mid length of the thigh. So if that is something that's important to you, here we are. Cause I know some people don't want their tees too short and some people don't want their tees too long. Cause I feel like that's another thing Sybil has perfected is the length of the tees. Cause oversized tees that are too long low key kill the look and you just don't want to have to crop them. You know what I mean? You want to buy them fitting the way that you want it to fit. You feel me? Some slight distressing on this one, not as much as the Deadpool one. I feel like it's a little harder to see because this shirt is more of a true black, but it's very slight on this one. Not as much as the Deadpool. I know I just said that, I keep repeating myself, but it's true. Again, nice clean collar here. Still the sleeves fall down beautifully. That's like a big thing for me, the collar and the sleeves and the length. I don't wanna be wearing a freaking dress, you guys. Anyways, that's Black Panther. Let's go on with Spider-Man. I have this one in the white, but honestly, I just know I will wear this more in the like charcoal gray black situation. I wanna say this one's more similar to the Deadpool one in terms of the blank. <laughs> oh my God, look how good this looks. I'm looking in the viewfinder, I'm like, yup. Yes, this is it. This is it right here. We got the marble right here on the side. We got the civil again on the right side. And then this is the detailing on the back. They're all very similar. We do not have any distressing on the side, but you see how it just ombres out to this lighter gray? Love that. And then boom, bang, I'm tucking her in because that's what I like. All right, and then the last shirt, which is my absolute favorite, <laughs> is Miss Storm, bro. I'm telling you, this is one of my favorite designs they've ever done. Like besides the Powerpuff Girls, because the Powerpuff Girls is up there for me. Look at this, look at this, look at this. Look, look at it, look at it. Slightly different, we don't have the Sybil on here and the Marvel is actually on the back. So this one's probably the most different out of all of them. And it's my favorite. Like she is giving and <laughs> Get me like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> and this is what she looks like tucked in. Honestly, I really do want to show you guys what she looks like with some cargo so you can style this outside of the gym because she eats. Okay, I'm just gonna put these on over my shorts. I believe these are from H&M. Yes, from their divided line. I got these last year, I believe. I wish I had a link for you guys, but I bought these in store. A little snug. Ah, okay, we got them over the cheeks. Boom. Bang. You see what I mean with some black cargos? How cute these are. I don't even know if it's picking up the cargos with how dark the jeans are, but look at this. You know what I'm saying? With a little crossbody bag. You know what? Let me complete the vision. Let me get it. Let me get it. Have a little oversized, oversized. Have a little crossbody bag that I thrifted. It's actually a camera bag, but she's so freaking cute. Anyways, just like this. And then I feel like the perfect shoe to go with this, my university blues. <laughs> Guys, it's like a perfect 
match. You see what I'm saying? Look how cute this look is. I really wish we could get a full cam moment. Let me back all the way up. I'm obsessed with this fit. When did this become a styling video? I don't know. Let me just get a thumbnail like this. No, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. Am I though? Watch it actually be in the thumbnail. Get this the thumbnail. <laughs> foul, foul, too much coffee for me. Um, there was something else I wanted to say. I can't remember. All right, my battery's about to die. So last but not least, this one doesn't have the scrunch in the back. If you can see, she's just there. So if you like no scrunch, girl, she's for you. Both of the bras, they can clasp together in the back. They have like a little small hook and you can clasp them. I just wanted to show you in this bra that you can do that. And it gives you this type of look right here. These leggings, we have the rose on fire right here near the calf and the knee. I find that the brown one does fit a little bit less snug. I just find that generally when it comes to black dyes and garments with black dyes, they're fit a little bit more constricting just because of how heavy the dye is. In fact, squat proof. Girl, she's squat proof. Alrighty friends, I know I've been babbling a lot, but that was pretty much everything that I have. Again, March Madness Assemble is gonna go live March 24th, Sunday at 6 p.m. PST, 9 p.m. EST. Code tip to save yourself 10% off and of course to support your girl. And if you have any extra questions, feel free to drop them down below. And if you wanna stay on top of the launch or any other future launches Civil may have, I suggest again following me on my Instagram at Tiffany Sanders with three Y's because that's where I'm the most active or at least I try to be. If you did stay to the very end and you're still watching this, I think we are gonna attempt to give her a more open neck. I really wanna try the drop shoulder and I think I'm gonna cut her. I'm scared. I don't wanna ruin the tee because I really like it, but I think we can do it, you guys. I think we can do it. Let me get my scissors and I'll be right back. Alrighty, friends, we're gonna do this. I watched, I really quickly went and watched a couple of YouTube tutorials. And by couple, I mean literally two. So it looks like the trick is most people when they do off the shoulders, they cut the whole neck, like the front and back together. But it seems like you need to cut the, the front and then follow the back separately to prevent it from being a hole that's too big. I'm over here giving you a DIY tutorial like I know what the hell I'm doing. I haven't done this since I was in high school and they would always come off too big. So that's like the big thing everybody's saying in the tutorials or the two people I watch in the tutorials is saying that you do not want to make the hole too big. They said not to do it on a shirt that you like, but girl, we're just gonna fucking wing it. I'm impulsive as fuck. The Aries is coming through. I think I'm wearing my Aries necklace right now. I surely am. Um, <sighs> kind of nervous. I need my phone. I think I need to watch the tutorial again. Maybe not. I don't know. Yeah, I do. Yeah, can y'all see? You can kind of see. Let me angle this down. This is not what this video is supposed to be. This is the tutorial I think I'm going to follow. Tried to cut an all -shoulder this is from Blueprint DIY. She posted a YouTube short. So this is who I'm following. You see what I mean? Okay, I feel like that was pretty simple. So we're gonna do a little snippy snip right here. Why am I so nervous? No, I'm gonna slay this. Positivity, positivity, we're manifesting. This is gonna come out slayed and that's it, period. Let's pay attention to what the hell I'm doing first. Slay this. We're gonna slay this, friends. We're gonna slay this. And then she said to cut the collar separate in the back. Ooh. Seems like this is key here is to cut that collar in the back separate so it doesn't keep make that hole too big you let me stop running my mouth like I know what I'm talking about I'm just like that's my toxic trait I love to pretend like I know what the hell I'm talking about 
when I'm doing something that I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. Okay, boom, bang, bong. Then she said to try it on. Oh my God, that rhymed. <laughs> wait, wait, yo, wait. Wait, I kind of like it like this. Do I even cut it more, you guys? I don't even think I'm gonna cut anymore. Wait, did we just kill this? And let's see if we can do it on the other side too. Wait, 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 we did it. Yo, I gotta fight the impulse not to do this to all of the shirts. This is so cute. And then if we wanna just have like a wide neck moment, bro. We did it! We did it and we didn't ruin the shirt! You guys, 10 out of 10 recommend this tutorial from Miss Blueprint DIY cause she ate with this. I'd even have to go in and do the other steps. I think it's because these shirts are already oversized that I was able to get the off the shoulder moment in one cut. Cause girl, 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 girl. I'm so excited. I didn't think it was gonna work. I love, oh, I'm gonna have to fight the urge not to do this to every single shirt. That's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you guys in my next one. I'm trying to have a schedule every Tuesday, every Tuesday, except for last Tuesday. I was going through it. I was going through it last week, but every Tuesday, expect a video from me. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to press the thumbs up button. If you like this video, don't forget to freaking subscribe and Press the bell to be notified every single time that I upload. Okay, that's everything. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye! I can't believe I did this. I didn't fuck it up. I, I told you, have confidence, be Delulu, and you will. I was trying to I was trying to think of something that rhymed with that, but ain't nothing wrong with that. Just <laughs> look how cute this is. I love it. I love it. Work it. Where are we going? I don't know. But at least my shirt looks cute as fuck. <laughs>